，空中美语全民英语能力分级检定测验、中级听力测验。本测验分三部分，全为四选一之选择题，每部分各十五题，共四十五题。第一部分有十五题，为第一题。至第十五题，试题册上有数幅图画，每一图画有一至两个描述该图之题目。每题请听播出的题目以及 A、B、C、D 四个英语叙述之后，选出与所看到的图画最相符的答案。每题只播出一遍。One, what is the mother doing? A, she's reading the stories in the newspaper. B, she's drawing a cute picture for her son. C, she's cutting something out of a newspaper. D, she's using crayons to draw on the newspaper. Two. What is the matter with the boy? A. He likely fell down and hurt his knee. B. He has suffered a small cut on his arm. C. An animal scratched him on the elbow. D. He slipped when walking and cut his toe. Three. What is the woman on the right doing? A. She is giving the boy some medicine. B. She is washing the cut on the boy's leg. C. She is looking closely at the boy's injury. D. She is about to put a bandage on the boy. Four. What can we say about the woman? A. She is sleeping soundly. B. She is having a strange dream. C. Her alarm clock is ringing loudly. D. She is lying awake in her bed. Five. What are the two men in the picture doing? A. They are stealing something important. B. They are guarding something valuable. C. They are enjoying a museum exhibition. D. They are making sure a person is safe. Six. Which of the following sentences is true? A. There are many items in the glass case. B. The men are standing behind the rope. C. There is an expensive vase in the case. D. The two men are in identical clothes. Seven. What is taking place in this picture? A. The two boys are having fun together. B. The boy on the left is being threatened. C. The boy on the left is winning the fight. D. The boy on the left has grabbed the other boy. Eight. What is likely taking place in this picture? A. A school graduation ceremony. B. A young child's birthday party. C. A family's Thanksgiving dinner. D. An entertaining Halloween party. Nine. Which of the following sentences is true? A. 
Everyone at the party is wearing a costume. B. The two people on the right are dancing. C. Many of the party guests are wearing masks. D. There are no decorations at this party. Ten. Why is the girl likely crying? A. She has damaged one of her favorite toys. B. She doesn't want to give up her old bear. C. Her parents won't buy her a new toy bear. D. Her parents have taken away all of her bears. Eleven. What is the woman most likely reading? A. She is reading a recipe book. B. She is looking at a newspaper. C. She is enjoying a long novel. D. She is reading a school textbook. Twelve. What is the woman doing while she reads? A. She is slicing some fruit into pieces. B. She is boiling vegetables in the kitchen. C. She is cutting up vegetables for dinner. D. She is chopping meat on a wooden board. Thirteen. What is the old man doing? A. He's remembering his childhood toy. B. He's putting things away in a box. C. He's trying to fix an old, dirty toy. D. He's thinking of a gift for his son. Fourteen. What is true about the people? With arrows pointing at them, A. They play for different sports teams. B. They are playing a game of baseball. C. They are about to score in a soccer game. D. They are sad because they're losing a game. Fifteen. What can we say about the people in the background? A. They are all waving different national flags. B. They hope the two players lose the soccer game. C. They are fans of the players on the soccer pitch. D. They want one player to stop the other player. Dirbufan 16. Do you think I can rely on George to help? Seventeen. This forest is very dense. Eighteen. I went to the library instead of the beach.
nineteen. Do you need a permit to go fishing here? Twenty. What is the most important thing we need in order to cross the border? Twenty one. I made it here on time despite the traffic. Twenty two. What do you normally do in your spare time? Twenty three. Is this going to be your permanent home? Twenty four. If you are planning to make changes to the work schedule, I would like to be involved in the decision. Twenty five. Do you think the government should preserve our old buildings? Twenty six. Is it essential to make an appointment to see the boss? Twenty-seven. We should see if John will join our team. He is very athletic. Twenty-eight. Why do you think you're qualified for this job? Twenty-nine. Why was Alex Epstein a pioneer in science? Thirty. How do you think you can contribute to the success of our business? Bufen 31. Something's wrong with my computer. You should ask Mark for help with it. Why Mark? 
Because he's an expert. Question: What do we know about Mark? Thirty-two. Gosh, what's the source of that terrible noise? I think two cats are fighting outside. I can't stand it. Can we close the window? You can if you want. I'm listening to music. Question: What does the woman want to know? Thirty-three. What made you want to become a piano player? I've wanted to be one since I was in high school. But why? Actually, it was thanks to my music teacher. Question: What does the woman mean? Thirty-four. This town is so pretty, isn't it? I love the buildings here. Our guidebook says these colorful houses were built more than one hundred fifty years ago. Cool. I think they are my favorite feature of this area. Question: What does the man say about the houses? Thirty-five. What happened at the meeting today? The boss praised Michelle. Why's that? She made a huge sale yesterday. Question: What did the boss do? Thirty-six. I'll be leaving this team at the end of the month. Are you quitting your job? No, I've been asked to work at our company's headquarters. Wow! Congratulations. Question: Where will the woman go to work next? Thirty-seven. This video game is so good. Can I play? Let's take turns, okay? Sounds fine to me. Question: What will the boy and girl do? Thirty-eight. The TV is broken. I think I can fix it. Using what? I have some handy tools in my car. Question: What does the man say about his tools? Thirty-nine. Let's look at a map of Taiwan. What's that blue part in the middle? The blue represents water. So, is that Sun Moon Lake? Question: What does the man tell the woman?
40. Okay, done. How are you doing with your work? I'm only halfway done. How did you finish so quickly? Oh, I don't know. I just kept at it until I was done. You're so productive. Question. What does the man say about the woman? Forty one. Okay, I've finished fixing your computer. Wow, that was quick. How can I pay you back? It's no big deal, really. I can't accept any money. In that case, please take these cookies in return for helping me. Question Why does the woman give the man some cookies? Forty two. I got some new stamps for my collection today. That's great, dear. What do they look like? They have pictures of Taiwan's greatest sports stars on them. When did the government issue them? Question What does the man want to know? Forty three. Where would you like to go for our vacation this year? France, I think. Good choice. France is home to some of the world's best cooks. I know. Think about all the great food we'd get to try. I'll start looking online for plane tickets. I'll see if I can find some good hotel prices, too. Do you know what kind of money they use in France? I think they use the euro. Question What does the man say about France? Forty four. What are you reading? A science journal. It says here that there is a new treatment for people who develop a dangerous type of cancer. That's great news. Yes, it is. I wish I could make a difference like that. What disease would you cure if you could? I think I would cure Lou Gehrig's disease. What is that? It's a deadly disease that is named after a famous baseball player who had it. I see. Question What does the woman say about Lou Gehrig's disease? Forty five. You look upset. What happened? My dog disappeared last night. That's terrible news. Can I do anything to help? I'm making posters with his picture on them. I can put some up around the area. Thank you so much. I'll keep an eye out for him when I'm out there. You're such a good friend. Question. What will the man do? This is the end of the test.